Welcome back, everyone. Debate over gun control versus the right to bear arms is heating up across the country, even in the Nevada legislature. Assembly Bill 354 would prohibit the possession of firearms within 100 yards of an election site. Josh Many joins us now here in the studio to explain the competing stances on this bill. Josh? Yeah, that's right, Kristen. AB 354 is being led by Democratic Las Vegas Assembly and Majority Floor Leader Sandra Haudigi, and she says she was once quiet about gun control, but after the trauma felt after 1 October, she committed to using her position to enact gun control, and she says barn guns near election sites is a common sense place to start. The reason this bill is so important to me is that we have to do whatever it takes to protect our most fundamental right, the right for our voice to be heard. And Nevadans should be able to exercise that right without fear of intimidation. And election workers should be able to go and work an election site without the same fear of intimidation. Now, the Nevada GOP stands unified in their opposition to AB 354 and all gun control legislation presented by Democrats. Republican Assemblywoman Danielle Gallant tells us that Nevada Republicans are committed to protecting the Second Amendment, so they take a critical eye to any bills regarding gun control in the name of safety. One of our other concerns is that there's these um, drop box or like the ballot drop boxes just randomly put just you know during those what two weeks nobody knows exactly where they are and so just law-abiding citizens that have a concealed weapon carry could all of a sudden go to the grocery store or go to you know the post office or one of the postal um, drop boxes and there could be a box there and they wouldn't even know it and then they would be violating this law AB 354 also works to prevent those who can't pass background checks from buying untraceable ghost guns. Covering the legislature, Josh Many, 2 News.